I am so sorry. I know I said part five was the very last part, but I promise this is it. It's just a really, really quick little thing that I think will help make your um, image look even better. So go back to your sparkle layer and go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And so that definitely helps brighten those um, sparkles a lot more. Um, and you can play around with the radius or the threshold, but kind of do it so that you think it kind of mimics your picture. Um, so yeah. So that was one last thing I wanted you guys to do is, is that. And let's see. And see what this does is that it... Um, it sharpens the out the outer pixels, um, and so that's what makes it look 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 like it's more con like more of a contrast when you do that. So that's a kind of cool filter that you'll probably end up using a lot. I use it a lot just in my photographs as a finishing touch. So yeah, try the unsharp mask when you have it the way you want. Hit OK, and then again, just some little touches. You don't have to do this. Um, but some things that bother me a little bit are the cloak, I, the folds in it are kind of annoying to me now that I look at it more. So I'm going to click on that layer. I'm going to use the cloning stamp to kind of clone some of the lines out that I find distracting. So the clone stamp, it looks like a little rubber stamp. You click on it and you want to click clone stamp. Now make sure you're in your figure layer. And then you see it highlighted up here. You can change the size. And then what you're going to do is hold down Control. You're going to hold down Alt, click. Sorry. So yeah, hold down Alt, and you'll see like it changes to a little crosshair, and then click. And so what it's doing is it's sampling um, part of that. So it's kind of nice, so I can kind of, instead of having these kind of crisscross marks from where it was folded, I can kind of get rid of those. And it helps to kind of keep sampling. So I'm going to hit Alt. Just, just kind of, you know, get rid of some of those distracting lines. You might not have them, so you might not have to do this. But I wanted to show you the Control um, Alt rubber stamp. Um, so yeah, that's just a little touch that might help. All right, so I figured since I'm recording this anyway, I'd go ahead and show you guys how to print to make it a little bit easier when it comes time. So what you want to do since we're printing is we are going to flatten this now. So go up to Layer, Flatten Image, okay, and now I want you to rename it. So go to File, Save As, and it should already have the name Byzantine Portrait. I told you to name it Sparkle Paint, and then just name it like flat, so you know that that's the flat one. Go ahead and just leave it as a Photoshop file, um, and then hit Save. Um, one other thing you might want to do is hit... Um, Control H to kind of get rid of those guide marks. They won't show up when you print, but just so you can you can view it. Now we're going to resize the image. We're going to try to print these big. So what you're going to do is go to image, image size. Um, make sure the resample is turned off, and we're printing on that large paper. So we're going to make. Let's see, the paper is 17. Sorry, I had to get a measure. So the paper width is um, that we're using is 17 and a half by 22 inches. So you guys, I know when I was look, walking around, cropped your image different ways. Some of you have a rectangle, some of you have a square. So really what you want to do is kind of resize it and make sure that your proportions fit into that 12 by 17. Um, paper size, I mean, sorry, 20, 
22 by 17 paper size. So mine's a square. It's pretty easy. So um, what I'm going to do, I think, is so 17 is really the largest I have. So I'm going to try 15. So I'm going to make my width 15. And so my height's going to adjust to kind of 15 as well or close to it. I'm going to turn the resample back on, and I am going to change this to 300, and hit OK. Let it save. All right, now we're going to print. So you want to go up to File, Print. Um, we're going to send it to Art Inkjet Room 138, number 2, so make sure you check that. Make sure you go to Print Settings. Make sure it's on Luster. Go down to Size. Click on it. We're doing USASNI 17 by 22. Hit OK. Hopefully this looks right. Okay, good. And then I'm going to leave mine vertical. I think with squares, it, it looks better vertical. Um, so I'm just going to leave mine like this. Now, you can always kind of tug here in the thumbnail if you want. Like if I wanted a little bit more side, a little bit more um, wider sides, I could do that. But I think that looks good. So I'm ready. I'm going to hit print. Um, so, and then we'll hang these up hopefully. So if you need a little help um, resizing your image to fit the paper, just come up and I'll, I'll help you do that. If, if you are having trouble like with the math a little bit, I know it can be a little daunting. Um, but hopefully these will look awesome and um, I'm really proud of you guys. I know this was a hard tutorial, but I think it was worth it and I think the results um, are going to be great.